When harvesting wet corn with my John Deere uh, 680, uh, the first problem I noticed was rotor loss. And uh, so last winter we did a lot of testing in my shop and uh, what we found out was the, the problem is right here with John Deere's round bar concave and that the air gap between the round bars is too tight and it just won't let the wet shell corn drop down between those bars. And so it unnecessarily retains the shell corn in the rotor chamber and then it moves right on out the back of the machine, goes onto the ground and shows up as rotor loss. So our solution was to invent <laughs> a round bar concave that has a little wider gap. So we call this the Calmer Enhanced Flow uh, Round Bar. And you can see my fingers will slide down in between, but over here my fingers don't. So we've enhanced the, the gap just a little bit. And then to demonstrate how much better it works, uh, we've got a uh, uh, funnel full of 25% moisture corn. Similar to sands through an hourglass, we're gonna run wet kernels uh, through a plastic funnel. On your marks, get set, go. Now, normally inside the combine, we all know there's going to be some cobs, there's going to be some leaves, there's going to be some husk and some silt. But anyway, stop. Gives you some kind of an idea. What'd you get? 16 seconds. 16 seconds. Okay. Now we're going to take the exact same shell corn and we're going to pour it up into this plastic funnel and uh, then it'll uh, give us an idea of a side by side comparison here. Now this is wet corn. Uh, we, we pulled it out of the bin and we've added water to it to bring it back up to 25% moisture. So now uh, we're gonna do the same thing and you'll get to see on the narrower gap here how much slower it is. On your marks, get set, go. Now we also realize that the rotor's turning and it's gonna agitate things which is gonna help get it to, to fall out uh, we do have to shake it a little bit in order to get these kernels to drop through. The reason that they're not dropping is because in 25% or higher, these wet kernels bridge against each other. You'll be able to see a photo of that. And that's what keeps them from wanting to fall out in between the, uh, the round bars. So uh, that's why we just opened the gap just a little bit. And that was all it took in order to get them to flow out of that chamber. And stop. 44 seconds. 44 seconds. So you can see it's taking uh, at least uh, three times as long to, to get the material to drop out of there. And uh, you can also see in the bottom here, we still have some of those bridged wet kernels. So anyway, um, in conclusion, uh, we believe that John Deere's round bar is the problem because they're too tight. We believe that the Calmer Enhanced Flow is the solution. Uh, because the kernels flow through very quickly. Thank you.